Aloha everybody and welcome back to the Kilauea Eruption and Leilani Estates update for October 24th, 2018. Tonight, uh, after the USGS report, um, I will be discussing a few things uh, about the report from both tonight's and last week's, um, dealing with some of the uh, data that's been coming in. Um, something that we definitely need to talk about and take a, a little bit of a look at. But before that, let's go ahead and get to the actual USGS report. The USGS reports for Tuesday, October 23rd, 2018 at 640 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time that the current volcano alert level is advisory and the current aviation color code is yellow. The activity summary for the past week is as follows. Kilauea volcano is not erupting. Rates of seismicity, deformation, and gas release have not changed significantly over the past week. Deformation signals are consistent with refilling of the Middle East Rift Zone. Observations over the last week are as follows. HVO monitoring during the past week shows low rates of seismicity at the summit and East Rift Zone. Earthquakes continue to occur primarily at Kilauea's summit area and south flank. Magnitude 3.8 was the largest. With continued small aftershocks of the magnitude 6.9 quake on May 4, 2018, seismicity remains low in the lower East Rift Zone. In the East Rift Zone, tilt meters near Pu'u'u'u and farther east continue to record an inflationary trend consistent with refilling of the Middle East Rift Zone. At the summit, tilt meters have recorded a slight inflationary trend. At the summit, UWE tilt meter started a deflationary trend around October 18, 2018 at 6.30 p.m. and seems to have completed a DI cycle over three to four days since. Sulfur dioxide gas emissions at the summit, Pu'u'u'u, and the East Rift Zone remain drastically reduced. The most recent SO2 emission measurements from late September show a combined rate of less than 300 tons per day. Bad weather has prevented new SO2 emission rate measurements. However, downwind SO2 concentrations suggest that no major changes have occurred over the last week. Hazards are still present in the lower east rift zone, eruption area, and at the Kilauea summit. Residents and visitors near recently active fissures and lava flows should stay informed. Heed Hawaii County Civil Defense and National Park warnings and be prepared, if necessary, to self-evacuate in the unlikely event of renewed activity. Please note that Hawaii County maintains a closure of the entire flow field and the vents and prohibits access to the area unless authorized through civil defense. The Hawaii Volcano Observatory continues to closely monitor Kilauea's seismicity, deformation, and gas emissions for any sign of reactivation and maintains visual surveillance of the summit and the East Rift Zone. HVO will continue to issue a weekly update every Tuesday and additional messages as warranted by changing activity. And that'll do it for the USGS report. Now, let's go over and take a look at the earthquake maps uh, for the last seven days and see where they're talking about the seismicity um, mostly at the summit and on its south flank area. Okay, looking at the earthquake map, this is for seven days all magnitudes and in the map boundaries, the visual boundaries, there is currently 76 earthquakes being shown. That, so that does include the ones uh, up there on the left side, which is Mauna Loa. Um, zooming in, there are 49 in the general area of the rift zone. Um, and as we can see, they're up there by the summit, which is that cluster to the top left. Uh, that is the uh, caldera. And if you look down uh, to the right, 
uh, that gray area there is Pu'o'o. So in my opinion, I, I would believe that these quakes that we're seeing here on the map over the last week uh, are pretty much in line with uh, what USGS is reporting with inflationary and tilt readings. Uh, I would also say in my opinion, looking at the earthquake pattern and uh, the previous pattern bef prior to the actual uh, rift zone eruption, um, I would say that uh, the lava that USGS is reporting, or excuse me, the magma that USGS is reporting that, that's moving from the reservoir into the rift zone uh, is heading towards the Pu'o'o area, but it's not actually heading down into the lower east rift zone. Uh, that's why we're seeing the inflationary, or the inflation in, uh, in the middle rift zone. So with that said, let's actually move into uh, the, the part of the video where I want to discuss the USGS report and um, this information that seems to be consistent over the last few weeks about the inflationary trend uh, in the Middle East Rift Zone um, and what all that means, you know, to, uh, well, everybody here in Hawaii. Now, they, they, dis they did distinctly say Middle Middle East Rift Zone, not lower. Uh, lower is actually where Fissure 8 and those, those rifts area, uh, those uh, eruption areas occurred. That's the lower East Rift Zone. A middle is up there around Pu'u'u'u and that, that general area there. And of course, the upper is heading up towards the summit uh, from the way I understand it. So with the inflationary trend, you know, upticks and, and the, the tilting and stuff, that shows that, the, that basically the, the balloon is, is inflating. Um, but looking at the earthquakes and, and how they don't actually get past uh, Pu'o moving uh, towards the east, I would say that the magma movement that U USGS says that these data points signify uh, coming from the summit reservoir and moving into the rift zone system uh, is getting, uh, hasn't quite gotten up to Pu'o. Um, I did also notice in some of the, the uh, webcam imagery from uh, USGS that uh, there does seem to be some steaming and uh, more you know fuming coming from the caldera itself and in these uh, the pictures I showed earlier which are the night shots uh, you can see in this uh, in one of them that there is definitely a plume coming up from the center of the caldera so that just means things are getting hot uh, so magma is is moving uh, whether it's up on the rise from the, the hot spot or just in the reservoir system, uh, it just goes to show that the Kilauea volcano is still active. It, it, it's always active. It's a, a young, you know, the youngest, well, not the youngest, but it is a young volcano on the island and it's been, you know, uh, erupting and having activity for, you know, decades. And uh, I don't think that's really going to change. The only question we, we really can be asking ourselves is where will it erupt next? Uh, that's really the only thing. Uh, that we can truly expect is that it will happen again at some point somewhere now will it happen again down here in Leilani I don't know I doubt it um, there could be some minor eruptions and, and extra little flows at some point perhaps I I, I have no you know uh, ground uh, I don't have no you know x-ray vision of, of the rift system so and neither does USGS so it's really hard to, to say where the magma is going to break out and things of that nature the, the best signal that we can watch of course is going to be uh, the earthquake patterns uh, they are actually uh, the best indicating signal along with the inflation and tilt uh, as to where magma is, is actually moving because that shows you know the land inflating uh, which means there's pressure under there so um we do have to watch it uh is there you know any reason right now to put out the alarm uh no no um right now actually the lower east strip zone leilani and and that area in this area and, and the surrounding areas i mean actually are, are relatively quiet there was a commenter that stated that they're down in Katapala and they're still filling quakes, which is to be expected. They're actually closer to Pu'o and where the, 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 the smaller quakes uh, are originating. Uh, here in Leilani, um, I occasionally believe I feel a, a little bump, but it's really nothing, you know, of any significance. And um, so I really can't say for sure because right now any little vibration or bump and I think earthquake. So. 
and you could walk across the floor really hard and and I'd think we're having an earthquake um, but that's just kind of the way it is so that's all for now guys I just wanted to share this information and and what this uh, latest information from USGS uh, seems to be signifying over the two-week trend um, nothing to currently worry about uh, for any populated areas at this point which is a good thing and uh, we will keep a watch on it and and that'll do it for this particular update report I, I do appreciate you watching don't forget to check out uh, my Redbubble smug mug accounts uh, where my photograph uh, photography is available for t-shirts mugs uh, coffee cups uh, travel you know uh, cups all kinds of wonderful assorted different items also uh, don't forget to check out uh, Dee's World uh, a new addition to our little group here at uh, doing Hawaii um, her link is going to be at the end of the video and you will also be able to find links to her channel uh, in the description as well and uh, as usual if you like this video hit that thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed click the subscribe button don't forget to ring that bell icon if you want uh, notifications of when I post new videos uh, you'll be sure to get them if you do that and uh, that'll do it y'all have an absolutely amazing and I do mean an amazing morning afternoon or evening this has been the Kilauea eruption and Leilani Estates update for October 24th 2018